I recently upgraded my wood shop to have a proper dust collector, but I quickly tired of going over to the collector to manually turn it on and off every time I wanted to use a tool. The standard solution to this is to buy a remote controlled unit that you plug into the dust collector and you have a little remote you keep in your pocket to turn the uh, collector on and off as, ne as needed, but I really figured there's no reason I can't just have this automatically trigger as soon as I turn on one of my power tools and save me that trouble, and I can probably do it for about the same price as buying one of those automatic triggers. So that's what led me to build this. So this is an Arduino board connected to a couple relays and a few current sensing transformers that will automatically tell whenever I turn on one of my power tools in the shop and then switch on the dust collector. Uh, there's also a manual on off switch over there for times you want to run the dust collector without actually running a tool. Uh, so just for example, if I grow and flip this on now, So you can see there that the uh, when I turn the switch on, the relays flipped over, the dust collector kicked on, and uh, yeah, as soon as I turn it off, it turns off. So uh, the simple the circuitry here is actually really simple. So I'll post the details online, but you can see that there's really just a couple resistors, a few wires, a capacitor. It's just a simple voltage divider. Uh, the wires on the left here are all the uh, twisted pair wires that are running out to the uh, trans current sensing transformers. That I have three current sensing transformers for the three tools. The, uh, three stationary tools I currently have in my shop. Uh, and yeah, I use twisted pair because that's uh, best to resist to avoid interference. And that's what the uh, transformer wire is already. Ethernet was the uh, convenient twisted pair that I had laying around the house. And then these are just two re relay boards from SparkFun. So the signal wire goes to the top. Um, I have two here because this is a 240 volt dust collector. So I need to switch both hots. Uh, if you, ha you would only need one relay board if you had a 120 volt tool. Um, you know, the th obvious thing to be careful of is these leads at the bottom here are powered up hot at 240 volts. Um, I haven't covered them up yet just because I wanted them to be clearly visible for the video. Uh, I will be covering those up for safety. So this is what the current sensing part looks that goes on the tools. So I found a, uh, I had this appliance, I had an appliance extension cord laying around the house that was ideal for this because it had this pattern where uh, the wires were already uh, divided through the insulation, so it's really easy to find the neutral ground and hot. So what I did is I cut this up into three links for the three tools I needed, and then just bought some Home Depot plugs to put on the end. And you can see right down here is the current sensing transformer, this piece in black. That the key about the current sensing transformer is it'll sense however much current is passing through it. However, it can only be around one of the leads because it senses the sum of all the current going through it, if you were to just clip it around this entire wire, you would end up getting zero because the current flows in the one side, in the neutral, or in the hot, and then out the neutral. So it's important, it doesn't matter if you separate the neutral or the hot, either one's fine, but you gotta pick one and separate it out. Um, and so that's what I did with this cord. And so I made three of these cords that each tool is plugged into. So for a stationary tool example here, you know, we're at my jointer, so if we go and turn my jointer on. Uh, if you're watching, you would have seen that the yellow LED turned off right as soon as I turned the jointer off. Then five seconds later, the dust collector kicked off. Uh, currently, I, that's because I have a five second delay configured in the software, just so that if I were to turn a tool off and quickly back on, the dust collector will stay running. Uh, we'll see as I use this, if I think that delay is too long or too short, it's you know, just an easy change in the software. So that's most of the setup. Like, what you, you know, just to show you the complete system, so like down there is the power extension for the jointer. And then you can see I just soldered, it just connects into that ethernet wire extension which carries it over and around to the board and it connects in there. And then, uh, you know, just on the dust collector side, it's very simple that on the left here, we have power coming in from the wall. So you'll see that that, that is a homemade cord that takes the uh, 240 volts from the wall up into the collector. And then 
On the right side here, that is the actual power cord that goes into my dust collector that I've uh, soldered onto these boards here. So uh, yeah, that's really all there is to it. I'll post uh, more details on exactly the parts I bought and uh, how to piece this all together uh, in the details of the video. Hope this was useful.